The parliamentary opposition has signaled that it will not be supporting a three-month extension to the state of public emergency in St. Catherine and Clarendon. Prime Minister Andrew Holness took the resolution to Parliament today, which requires 42 members of the House to support it. Up to news time, the House of Representatives was still debating the issue. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm reports. The state of public emergency was declared in St. Catherine and Clarendon on September 5, with the security forces pointing to an increase in criminal activity. One week after its declaration, positive results. The week before the state of public emergency was declared in Clarendon and St. Catherine, we had 15 murders. The week after its declaration went down to four. So again, this is saying nothing new. We understand and I'm going to expect the effectiveness of this tool in the reduction of murders. Mr. Speaker, 100 persons have been arrested and charged with varying offenses during that period, 30 in St. Catherine and 70 in Clarendon. And so Prime Minister Andrew Holness made this appeal to the House. It is reasonable to expect that even with extraordinary powers, it will take some time to change the situation in these parishes as the security forces continue to pursue their strategies. The progress made within these police divisions must be allowed to continue. I today urge the continued support on matters of national security across the aisle. That plea was not enough to sway the opposition. Dr. Peter Phillips argued that the report from the Prime Minister did not talk about the suffering faced by ordinary Jamaicans. It doesn't talk about the plight of the people, the dance hall and DJ artists who are having their dances closed down before the patrons even come. It don't talk about the pan chicken people who can't sell the pan chicken. What that is doing is destroying this popular economy, I have to call it that. He reiterated that the opposition has been consistently calling for a crime plan. And yet we get nothing at all. All that happens that every time you come the night before or the week before and say, boss, vote, vote now. Quite frankly, it seems to us that is the, the state of emergency is being used as a kind of sim symbolism. Just to give the impression that we're seriously grappling with the problem. We have been doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. But time come, we can't do it no more. What I am proposing, Mr. Speaker, is that we on this side will move an amendment to extend this by 21 days, during which time we are expecting the regulations to be changed, and we are expecting also that the relevant data will be brought to the parliament as a basis, as a basis for us to consider further extension. Dr. Phillips is also calling for meaningful discussions with the stakeholders. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.